All right, gamers, welcome back. It's still ADV Revival 2. I'm Zets, and I'm joined here by Gold Mason to commentate Z Panther versus Hey Ya Forte. Gold Mason, how's it going, man? Oh, it's going great. I'm excited to see some more Revival gaming. We got Z Panther, Hey Ya Forte. Uh, Z Panther, obviously, uh, the other half of the Z Mason Gold Panther commentated commentator duo. And uh, Hey Ya Forte is a uh, up and coming Smogon player who has, it seems, branched out into other uh team tours or individual tours in this case absolutely you know the duo you love them these are three and one gamers so no one's getting eliminated today but many rounds ahead of us if you want to make it all the way to bracket so every win is going to count every loss is going to count just as much absolutely and let's jump right into these games i'm kind of excited to see what uh z panther and forte have cooked up here I've heard there's been a bit of chicanery in this one. We'll, we'll see how it unfolds with a meta versus a Skarm. And the Doug aggressively coming in, trapping the Breloom. It's going to get that area lace off. Goodbye, Breloom. But a nice mock punch. Some chip. Oh! Pursuit Metagross. That's, that's not something you see at all times. Yeah, it's not something you see ever, but it manages to take Doug Trio out. Won't be able to be used against Metagross later. I don't know that I've seen Pursuit Metagross in my day, folks. This is this is wild. And it's beat up Houndoom. Look at this. Yeah, that is... Uh, it's not even going to go down. Oh, yep. Sing misses. Blissey's probably going to be forced out here. Good boy. Claydol coming in, taking the beat up much, much more resiliently than the Blissey. Absolutely. And not really going to be able to threaten Z Panther's Claydol. Probably going to get rid of the spike. Here. That is a Venusaur. That is a Venusaur coming in on an Ice Beam. Not what it likes to see, but it can outspeed and um, sing spam for Heya Forte. Interesting with the Sing Blissey, the Sleep Powder Venu, and missing a Leech Seed a bit unfortunate. But you know, with Sleep Claws, I don't think I really see very often people bringing multiple Sleep Sleepers. But that's that's cool. Yeah, it's it's definitely interesting. Uh, this structure is a little weird. Oh. Hey, uh, going for the aggressive boom uh, into the sleeping clay doll. That's just going to let Houndoom come right back in for free. Finally landing a leech seed. That's the first move that the Venu has been able to land. And Skarmory aggressively coming in on Houndoom could have gotten Willow Wisped. And I mean, you imagine or... Houndoom's running Fire Blast, Flamethrower, and it perfectly covers both the Venusaur and the Skarmory. That was a bold decision by Hey uh, Forte. But after having lost their Doug and their Claydol, they're kind of in a spot. I mean, this Houndoom kind of goes in versus everything. Beat up beats the Blissey. Fire move beats everything else. This is tough. Yeah, and it's... Uh, this Skarmory is fearless. I mean, staying in, dodging another Wisp, does not dodge the Fire Blast. Yeah, and it's it's been sacrificed to get a second spike. I mean, we're, we're chipping the Houndoom down with the Leech Seed. But Z-Panther's team is more than healthy enough to eliminate the Blissey with a second beat up. And it's just Jirachi Aww. in the back. I don't know if that's going to be enough to, to bring this all the way back to you. Not at all. I think that, oh, especially with that burn. Yeah. Houndoom was probably going to finish this game out on its own, but now it most certainly will. Yeah. Unless it runs it just out of fire blasts. <laughs> and call mining while you're, you, you get the wish. Sure. Sure. You're getting out sped. You have to avoid another fire blast and then, a lot of other things are going to have to happen, none of which will happen, unfortunately. Yeah, I was also going to say, um, if it's Wish CM, it's like almost certainly uh, Psy Fire, which is also walled by Houndoom. I mean, Houndoom, besides the Doug and the, kind of the Claydol, it basically beats, it just solos <laughs> Hayao Forte's entire team. Wow. Yeah, uh... Houndoom, a pretty unconventional pick, but uh, came in clutch here. I mean, it had one Fire Blast left. Maybe it could have pivoted around those Fire Blasts more. But yeah, hey, uh, Forte uh, getting taken down by the dog. May Let's I just a... say, I love to see it. Look, uh, look at First of all, look at the sprite. Beautiful sprite work by the developers. But also, you know, you, you see, you know, Pursuit Tarantar all the time. Houndoom... I don't know if you folks know this, he has a higher special attack stat. I understand he's weak to Doug, I get that. And I, I you know, Doug's the best, second best Pokemon in the game, depending on who you're asking. But oh. I like to see the Houndoom. I think there's room for Houndoom in the meta game. And uh, good stuff to Z Panther for showing the world that. Today. Oh, no, we're not buying into the ABR propaganda, are we? No, 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 no. 
Oh, baby. Can I just say that I kind of agree with a lot of what he said? Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, that's we're for gonna, another time. We're gonna that's have, for another time. We're going to have to have words after this commentary, but we're on to game two. It is the Panther versus Teo Forte. Game two. Will we see another Houndoom? Will the dogs be unleashed again? Who knows? Medicham. Medi Heck, yeah. Just baton passing, trying to stay in front wow. of... The Titar aggressively earthquaking. That is a bold, fearless Tyranitar extremely fearless so and many bad things could have happened i mean that also denies focus punch I, I guess i don't hate the decision but it is scary it is terrifying but it worked sort of uh the earthquake did like nothing to suicune so it's probably a bold suicune um zapdos gonna get forced out by Belissi here into scar i'm getting t waved i think if anything yeah you get a little chip on the suicune but it's also like the psychological damage it's letting them know like i'm not afraid of your lead medi okay let's like get earthquaked true very true mag putting in work here gets the scar yeah mag happy to the hit oh take down one and a half mons is this uh what could be in the back this isn't this isn't like weather clear or anything it's it, like crazy it, it super might be this looks like an abr structure an abr-esque structure at the very least yeah uh might be it might I, be like a cladal last uh to clear the spike because the because Doug teams do have a problem with uh, with Spike. Oh, nope, it's Zapdos. Okay. It definitely yeah, like, needed to be a flyer, because there wasn't a single one on here. My... True. And Swapper pivoting in on the taunted Zapdos. Taunt wears off just in time to miss Toxic. We love that. Yeah, a little bit of a break for Z Panther. Everything revealed for Heya Forte. You gotta wonder what Z Panther has in the back. What would you expect? What what is this team missing? Probably not a uh, Houndoom. <laughs> no. Um, probably. I mean, it looks like El Clasico right now, which has a last arrow. Um, yeah, especially with Roar Zapdos, it looks like a El Clasico, which is uh, an H clat uh, popularized team, and it's probably a. Aerodactyl last. So that actually is pretty good for Z Panther. Uh, get a lot of chip in with the rest of the team. Um, especially oh, something like that. Yep. So maybe that represents the Gengar could be having Giga Drain or HP Grass. You want something, and it is the arrow in the back, but you want something to pressure a Swamper. Not that Heya Forte has one. And just clicking double edge, and there's not a lot that's going to want to step on this spike and, and run into an Aerodactyl double edge. I imagine that's going to do 34 to Suicune, wouldn't you? Uh, it's bold, so it will live. Oh, and it rests. Yeah, the the Tyranitar Earthquake did 18%, notably. So that's the, true. The arrow double edge is going to do about 1.5 times that, something like that. And yeah. Suicune what lives, gets the rest on? off. Just the bolt. Um, this Doug has absorbed like three T bolts, um, and wow, it just it just clicks earthquake. I guess hoping that Swampert comes in. I, I suppose the Doug isn't overly valuable anymore, but yeah, it is uh, purely going to be sacked off now to provide safe passage for Blissey coming in. Looks um, like Z Panther's going to try to get ahead of that, and a pretty wise decision, I would say, because I guess you get to defeat the Doug, but you deny the Blissey entry. Yep. Um, Gengar... Oh, I kind of expected Gengar to come back in here. Because the Suicune is incredibly threatening. And yeah. it's going to wake up on this turn. Okay, gets the rest. It stops the rest. And could just try to stall out these double edges with pressure. That won't take that long. And we are going to pivot to the Gengar for Z-Panther here. Now we're going to see a 50-50. You Thunderbolt into the Blissey coming in, or you Will-O-Wisp and, you know, the Suicune stays in. There's a lot of uh, mind games going on. Would you expect this to have Boom? Uh, so the El Clasico Gengar does not have Boom. It usually carries um, Thunderbolt, Giga Drain, Taunt, and Will-O-Wisp. Right. And heads up, Ice Beam click through the Taunt. Well done. I mean, but it's still not looking great because uh, Blissey is never going to get to heal and it's a very uh, specially defensive Gengar, so it's going to get a few of these T-Bolts off. But it might not have enough health. Oh, yeah. Especially oh, the oh. And the freeze! No! Let's yeah. go, Blissey. 
Let's go ABR. Oh, okay. Thought out immediately. Wow. <laughs> what is this game? So seismic tossing on the prediction, hoping that a Swampert or an Arrow would come in. That could have been Gengar's last turn. No. Oh my gosh. Get it just it right. needed to taunt. Just needed to taunt. Because the Blissey was... Went for the kill. Blissey was going to be dead regardless. Um, because an Arrow would come in and force it out. And right. that would have been done. But... Uh, now Blissey's going to get kill. a nice... <laughs> oh no. No way. No way, dude. What is this game? Blissey's going insane. Blissey is and going take, insane. Taking the opportunity to heal up. Um, I would... Yeah, and, and the arrow just thaws out. I would have maybe thought about just clicking Ice Beam a moment ago, but you get the kill on the arrow anyway. And Heian now well positioned to force a game three unless this Swampert can and, solo the rest and it's just a forfeit. Yeah, it's, it's Refresh... Uh, refresh Toxic Surf Protect Swampert. It is never going to make it through Suicune. Uh, no matter how yeah. hard it tries, it will go another 100 turns as the Swampert runs out of PP and eventually will kill itself to struggle or Suicune will calm mind up. So that was over. Um, definitely think that the taunt needed to just come out of the Gengar and um, let it go down, go to Arrow. The Blissey's guaranteed dead and... Um, then you can maybe try to rock slide through Suicune. That would probably have been the, the path. Um, I kind of wish this was like like the NBA or the NFL. We could do like a post-game interview. Like, yeah, so Z Panther, what were you thinking in that spot? Like, you, it seemed like you had like the pretty clear line to victory. Yeah. And then he's like, you don't understand the inner machinations of my... I don't know, Z Panther. Well, I don't know. That's not a Z Panther impression, mind you. But No, for sure, for sure. Um, I, think Callus, I think Callus actually did something like that in a past tour. of Callus Fight Night, I think, maybe did something like that. So... Might not be That's a bad sick. idea. Might not be a bad idea, Zets. But we're on to game three. And it is uh, it is not an elimination match, but it is uh, definitely tense as these battlers gear up for game three. Yeah, remember, folks, you got to go eight and two if you want to make it out. And it's another lead Medi into another lead Titar. This time pivoting to Skarmory and... This time oh my gosh. getting the baton pass. No spikes for Z Panther. Heads up, a taunt pass for Hey yeah, Forte. And yeah, Charizard would have really appreciated some spikes just to help it try to use its mixed coverage to take down so many different like TSS threats, but yeah. it's not going to have that anymore. And this is almost certainly uh, the exact same team from Hey yeah, Forte, it looks like. So there's going to be a Blissey coming in here on the Jolteon. Absolutely, taking the Thunderbolts. And then the last two were what? Doug Trio and Zapdos. So already looking quite good for Heya Forte. Yeah, this is going to be an uphill battle for Z Panther to overcome the lack of spikes. Okay, if you can focus punch through Oh, this, baby. Gets there, eliminates the Blissey, and that's going to help. Um, I think Doug. If, if it has bulk? It yeah, I was going to say it has bulk because it's a. It's oh, a, oh my God. No way. Yeah, it has both because it's bringing a it back. BKC tar. Shouts to BKC. I, I like going for focus punch. You know, force them to mm -hmm. to just end your life. And if they greedily click call mind or something, you get some value there. It wouldn't have been a lot of damage, but it would have been good. Uh, good force out damage with Jolteon. Um, really put the pressure on. Totally. And Swamper comes in, soaks the T wave. And after having eliminated both the Blissey and the Doug, and now the Mag, the Swampert's toxic. I guess you wouldn't. I wouldn't anticipate that this would be refresh. Would you? Probably not. Um, oh my God, twenty percent. That's that is wow. a bold max Suicune. Um, yeah, probably not refresh. But honestly, with how much work the. Um, the tar did uh the swampert isn't as necessary um z panther is also playing with open team sheet he knows oh oh my baby that's huge he that's, knows that's devastating he knows what the last pokemon is is what i was gonna say yeah uh, he very much does but uh gengar might just be able to finish it out here uh the gengar is slower than the zapdos uh oh that's Maybe not that impactful because Underbolt was probably going to get there. Most rolls are going to simply to hit the Medi. I I'm wondering what the Medi's item was because it took Sandstorm damage. Right. Um. You know I've heard of uh like 
Is it Lychee Berry where you get the speed? I've heard of like... Uh, Salak, Salak, Salak. Salak. Yeah, I've heard of Salak lead Medi is is a thing that people were telling me to run on uh, on one of my teams recently. Okay, this is dangerous. Um, it's HP Ice. Yes, okay, okay, good. Z Panther knows. Um, you cannot let the Suicune come in and heal. So you have to kind of let Swampert go down and Charizard will finish out the game. Yep, that works sure. just fine. Because the Swampert will now die to Toxic and will not allow Suicune to heal. And then Charizard or Gengar will be able to come in and finish the game from here. Outspeed, yeah. Very well done. And especially losing that Skarmory and finding a way to eliminate so many threats, like eliminating the Blissey, being the Doug. I mean, that Doug probably came down to a roll. That could have really shifted things, but good stuff to Z Panther, man. I think a lot of players would have faltered after that turn one baton pass, getting your Skarm trapped, and they found a way to win. That's what good players do. Exactly, and just really good uh, maneuvering uh, with that mix off. Uh, really, really well played. Um, it does, I, I will say, uh, you know, it does help to have open team sheet on your opponent's team. You get to make a lot of predictions and, and you know, choose your resources really well. So um, it would have been a, a bit different of a game for sure if Hayat Forte hadn't brought the same team, but, um, you know. That I mean, hey, still managed to make it work. That Suicune was definitely very threatening. Um, yeah, it was still very close. And, you know, there's something to be said for sticking to your guns. And also, like, the fake out of, like, early in the game. It's like, wait, is this the same team? And you can kind of bluff having a different team. Uh, but at some point, yeah, I think Z Panther was in a good spot with respect to knowing everything about the opponent's team at that point. For sure. And, you know, just Jolteon, Jolteon Spikes kind of beats these kinds of uh these double trapper teams anyways because jolteon has the baton pass to get out of the dug so right. yeah well great great set um very fun uh I, it's been so long since the first game i forgot that there was a houndoom that did a bit you know a million things that was really fun uh really fun let's switch yeah can, can we switch the viewpoint oh, just yeah. one more time for the yeah. fans yeah hell yeah hell yeah I love good that. Good stuff Houndoom. to Z Panther. Thank you for for bringing such a good boy into the fray. Absolutely, we appreciate you. Well, you wanna you wanna take us out here, Zets? Yeah, guys. Thanks again so much for watching all the content. Uh, we got much more. So if you haven't subbed, be sure to do so. The bracket's gonna be starting in a couple rounds, and it's gonna be some of the greatest ADV players of all time playing incredibly high level Pokemon. It's been exciting up to this point. It's only gonna get better. Um and uh, be feel feel free as well, by the way, to donate uh, to the prize pool so that we can get more uh, support into the community for some of these top players to play for and increase these stakes. And yeah, go back and watch Callus videos too. I want to say that earlier in between matches, but if you're like newer to the scene, like some of us, go back and watch some of like the Callus Invitationals. A lot of great content on his channel as well to check out sometime absolutely yeah hit that subscribe button please uh, it really helps us out a lot and uh yeah this has been gold mason and zets and we will see you next time on another adv revival commentated set see you later